Head Over Heels pairs the infectious music of the Go-Go's with an Elizabethan love story turned upside down. Director Michael Mayer and choreographer Spencer Lift stopped by our studio to discuss their collaboration and creative process for this fabulous, fun new musical. Head Over Heels, I would say, is a really hilarious romp in the vein of Spamalot meets Shakespeare in Love with these iconic, amazing Go-Go songs. It seems really random to take an Elizabethan romance and, and sort of juxtapose Go-Go songs with it. But, you know, after doing Spring Awakening with, like, with the German play and Duncan Cheek music, I'm like, bring it on. I like that stuff. I like the duality of it. I first read the script for Head Over Heels over four years ago. And it was one of those scripts that I got four pages in and I stopped and I called my manager and I said, I have to be on this project. I think it's gonna change my life. I wanted to create movement that was its own piece of the puzzle. Our book is written in, in 1550s. Our music is the, the 1980s. And I didn't want the dance to sort of be rooted in either of those genres. So I, I wanted a really contemporary, fresh feel. As Mayer began work on Head Over Heels, he turned to So You Think You Can Dance choreographer Spencer Liff. It's not the first time they've collaborated. I met Spencer when I was doing Smash, and he was one of our great dancers, and we became very friendly. And around the time that I was starting to develop Hedvig for Neil Patrick Harris, we, we talked a lot, and Neil said, you know, you really should think about um, us working with Spencer Liff. I had long conversations with him and then we ended up doing Hedvig together and I was really blown away by his creative imagination, by his athletic and disciplined aesthetic. Michael's a tastemaker. He has this eye about what's cool, what's not, how to walk a fine line. The style of our show is very tricky and it's sort of a tone that I haven't seen before on Broadway and it's a little scary and ballsy to do something like that. Though it can definitely be called a musical romp, Head Over Heels also has a serious message for audiences. What is so special about this show is we are able to be incredibly topical. We are able to deal with issues that are facing all of us in this country and in this world. But beyond that, it is a level of pure escapism. I think the show's for everyone. We're looking at these audiences now. We've got like eight-year-old kids with their parents and grandparents and young punk people and queer people and trans people and it's really reaching everyone and there's kind of this great unification. The message of the show is very pure and it really is about inclusion. See Head Over Heels on Broadway at the Hudson Theatre.